Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the third video of our series Basic of AutoCAD for Beginners. Uh, in the last two videos we learned how to make a, a composition in AutoCAD and then we learned how to edit that composition. Now we're gonna learn how to uh, present that composition and finally print it. First up we're gonna learn how to add text in that composition. Text can be added using this button over here. Uh, you can click on this button and activate the text command or you can use the shortcut key that is M text M T E X T and then press enter. Now the command is activated. It is asking for specify first corner. I'm going, to, I want to add my text below this composition. So I'm going to click below it and give the first corner over here. Now it is saying specify opposite corner. Uh, so I'm going to specify this corner and make this uh, rectangle in uh, I'm going to create this rectangle by click giving the opposite corner so my text can be added inside this rectangle so I'm going to click again and uh, the rectangle area has been specified now I'm going to type my text I'm going to type uh, my text uh, 01 okay so my text has been typed now you see there are different options given over here this is for all the text editor I'm going to select my text over here and maybe I want to make it bold so I'm going to click on bold I want to uh, change the text style I can click over here and choose uh, another text style from here I think Arial is good for me right now and uh, um, I think that's enough I can change the uh, paragraph spacing the alignments and everything from here but right now I think I'm good with this so I'm going to click outside this box and uh, the text has been added now if you notice the text size is too small as compared to my composition so I want to scale up the size of this text I'm going to select the text and I'm going to give the scale command that is SC and then I will press enter now it is asking for the base point I will give the base point somewhere near my text over here and it is asking now it is scaling up my text I am going to scale it up to I think uh, this size looks good enough uh, this looks good I just clicked again and the text size has been increased uh, I want to centralize my text I'll use again the move command that we learned I'll press M enter and move it oh, like uh, this now I think it looks good next up we're gonna learn how to add dimensions to our composition dimensions are added using this dimension button over here so uh, I'll just click on it and uh, the but dimension tab is activated uh, one now I want to add dimension to this line suppose over this line so I'm going to click over one corner and the other corner and then I'm going to specify the point where I want to put the dimension at I am going to click over here so by you see my dimension has been added but the dimension size is too small again I want to increase the scale of the dimension uh, I want to edit this basically this dimension style uh, dimensions can be edited using clicking over here clicking on the annotation and then on this uh, dimension style button you can either do this or again you can use the shortcut that is D and then press enter this dimension style manager appears uh, over here you go to this modify button and the dimension style modify button opens now over here we have different tabs different settings for dimensions right now we're gonna not gonna go in all these settings but we're gonna just uh, go in the scale settings so I'm going to go till to fit and I'm going to use change the overall scale of the dimension right now it's giving of one scale I think I'm going to increase it to five you can choose your own scale depending on your drawing on your composition uh, I think 5 should be enough for me I just pressed 5 and then I'm going to click OK now I'm going to close this and you see the scale of the dimension has increased uh, I think it is still a bit too small for my liking so I'm going to go do it again I'm going to go to annotation I'm going to go to this uh, <coughs> sorry dimension style and then I'm going to modify my dimension style I'm going to go to fit and I'll change the scale from 5 to maybe 8 and I'll press OK. Now let's close it again and now you see the size has increased even more. So this was how you're going to add dimensions uh, to your composition. Next up we're going to learn about layers. Okay, Layers are very important in AutoCAD. They are used to differentiate between different parts of a drawing. 
and uh, they, they help us in editing different parts of drawings. Uh, this is the basic layers area. This is our current layer tab. Click on it, you see the zero layer is our current layer and we only have one other layer that is the dev point layer. That, that is, these two layers are created automatically in AutoCAD and but we will create our own layers uh, right now. Okay, so layers properties tab, this is where the layer uh, box appears. If you click on this layers property. So uh, this is our uh, layer toolbar, uh, layer window, sorry. Um, we gonna we are going to create a new layer from this button over here I'm gonna click on it and you see the new layer is created I'm going to name it as uh, dimensions okay and uh, I'm gonna click outside the, and this layer is created uh, further this is the settings of this dimensions uh, uh, layer I'm going to change its color I'm going to give it maybe this orange color so I'm gonna click OK and click OK I'm going to change its, uh, I'm not going to change the line type, a solid line is good for me right now. I'm going to change its line weight, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to give a line weight of 0 0.05. Line weight is basically the thickness of the line when it's going to be printed or converted into a PDF. So I want a very thin line for dimensions, so I'm going to give 0 0.05 and I'm going to click OK. And uh, that is it. I think I should create another layer for the text. I'm again clicked over here and I'm going to create a text layer. I type text and I'm going to click outside and I'm going to give its color some red color. I'm going to give it and I'll click OK and I'll the line type is good. Solid line, the line weight. I will increase it a bit from 0 0.5 to maybe 0 0.13. That looks good the default layer zero layer is in default line type default line is almost like uh, one uh, millimeter so that is good for me right now i'm not going to change it to the to the zero layer okay so i have created these two layers now i want to add them in my drawing so i'm going to cross this and uh, i'm going to click on this this text and i'm going to change the layer to um, text over here and you see that this is changed in the text layer and I want to change uh, the dimensions again I'm going to click on the dimensions and I'm going to change the layer to dimensions uh, this is how we add change the layers we can uh, automatically uh, if I want to add more dimensions and I want to add them in the dimensions layer automatically I'm going to make the dimensions my current layer I'm going to do that by clicking on this tab and clicking on the dimensions now you see the dimensions layer is activated and this is my current layer now whatever i'm going to create in autocad will automatically be made in dimensions layer so i'm going to add a bit more dimensions uh, i'm going to add i want to add the radius of this circle so i'm going to do that by clicking on this button over here and you see the different options has appeared i'm going to go to radius and then i'm going to click on the circle and you see the radius has been a radius uh, dimension has been added and it has been added in the dimensions uh, layer i want to further add a bit more dimensions i want to add a, a aligned dimension the dimension of this line it, it is in, a, in an angle so i'm going to go to aligned over here and i'm going to add the layer the dimension in this angle like this now further i want to uh, know the angle of the these two lines again i'm going to go over here and i'm going to angular i'm going to select the first line and i'm going to select the second line and you see this is a 45 degree angle and its dimension is shown over there so this was our dimensions uh, that's how i'm going to add dimensions and layers in my drawings next up we're going to learn about blocks blocks are very important in autocad uh, it's basically a composition of different uh, lines and uh, geometry that we create we join in a singular singular block and we can uh, place that blocks in sev several times in the drawing and we can edit the, that block and all those different blocks that we have, we will we have added they will be edited automatically uh, so let's just uh, create a simple block I'm maybe I'm just gonna create a quick block over here I'm going to make a window I made a square and I'm going to make a line like this and I'm gonna make a line over here like this and this is a basic window that I have created I want to create a block of this window so I'm just gonna select the entire window and I'm going to press B and then press enter 
this is the block definition I'm going to name the block as window and I'm going to give a pick a point of the base point for this window I'm going to give it this point and uh, I'm going to click OK so you see this window block has been created now this is an entire is a geometry is now a singular block it's it doesn't have a different lines it's all a s one unit I can just click on it and copy it as many times as I want I'm going to just CO press CO for the copy command and I'm copying it over here one two three four copies of the same block now that I want to edit the block I'm just going to double click on any of this block and this uh, edit block appears I want to edit this window block so I'm going to click OK and this is the block editing uh, tool uh, soft window over here so I'd want to maybe give an offset to the block I click offset and I'm going to give uh, offset of six units uh, like this so make it a bit more give it a bit more definition and give another offset of uh, one unit like this maybe something like this now the window looks a bit better so I'm going to close the blocks editor from here and click OK save the changes to window and now you see all the blocks have been updated uh, the same way that I, I, I did I just had to update one the one of the block and all the other got up block updated automatically I can finish a block by exploding it and uh, that, that I can do by selecting the particular block that I want to finish and then press X and press enter now you see this block is now again it has been exploded to singular lines and rectangles uh, and the, the other blocks are all the same and they're the blocks uh, that they used to be but this one is a different entity now okay finally we're going to learn how to export the drawings or print that drawings or convert it to a PDF uh, this is done by using the plot command we can activate it by pressing ctrl P from our keyboard and this plot dialog box appears uh, first up it is asking from the for the name of the printer we can I have a printer attached to my laptop so I can just select that printer and that pr create a print directly but what I prefer is creating a PDF first so you can go to DWG to PDF and click on that so now we can create a PDF of our uh, composition next it is asking for the paper size so you're gonna click on the over here and select the paper size I think ISO A4 should be enough size for this composition so I click on this A4 size now it is asking what to plot uh, so we're gonna change it to the window and we're gonna give a window that we want to plot I'm just gonna because this is the area that I want to plot or create a PDF of so I click on this and uh, this window is now selected I can preview over here what I, it is plotting so this is what it is plotting as you see it is not centralized and I don't think I want it in landscape I would prefer it in portrait so I just I'm not okay with this preview so I'm just going to press escape and the, I have come back to this I change this to portrait so that it looks a bit better and then I'm going to click on center the plot so it comes in the center of the page I'm going to go and preview again so this time it is in a portrait mode and in center so this looks better to me but uh, maybe I just want to change again to landscape so I'm going to go to landscape again and I'm going to preview uh, this looks better now so now that I'm okay with it I can just right click and plot and uh, it's going to save the PDF file I'm going to save it in my uh, desktop over here I will just name it ABC and I'm gonna save it uh, it's now automatically giving, giving me a preview so this is the plot uh, the drawing that I have plotted that I have created for you guys and it is in the PDF format now so this was the basics of AutoCAD that I have ta taught you you I'll be creating further videos uh, for tips and tricks and a bit more advanced videos for that please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you can get notifications of all the videos thank you very much take care